My idea was put on a forum and it was voted on. There was an idea of driving over it with a car. Uh, there was an idea of playing tug of war with it. Uh, there were various ideas and luckily my idea was the one that was chosen. My test was to take the level up in the air by a remote controlled helicopter. So we sourced the location, hence why we're here at this working quarry, uh, trying to find somewhere rugged and tough where we could really put it through its paces, and this is what we come up with. So let me get this right. We're going from way up in the sky onto a massive pile of rocks with this very level. Exactly. You've got the rig there just to test have, it yeah. now. Do you yeah. want to test it beforehand? Definitely, definitely. Pop it on there, make sure we're all true and square. Very good. How about vertically as well? Do yeah. it down one of the sides. That's about perfect, Gav. Spot on. Definitely. Right, let me take that over to the guys with the helicopters, the Flyonics guys, and let's get this in the air. Chaps, how are you doing? Mr. Lowe. How are you? Yeah. Here is the chopper. Here we got a standard ready controlled helicopter, and we've adapted it, made a grapple up for the bottom and these skids. So this grapple will hold the level, take it up, and uh, drop it from the skies. And we're going to go how far up? What do you fancy? Well, I reckon those trees are about 45 foot. We're a good 60 foot down, so uh, it's going to be over the top of them. So it's going to be about 150 foot. No problem. Onto that pile of rocks. Whatever you want. Now, you've got another helicopter up there. What's that one doing? Well, that's an octocopter. That's an eight prop helicopter. And that's up there filming us right now. Right, I'm going to give you a wide berth now. Cheers, Gav. Um, enjoy your flying, and I'll be over here when you've dropped the level. Put your Thanks a lot. on. Okay, gentlemen, let's get some uh, let's get some helicopters in the sky. Ready, Cap? Right, Jace, take it up, mate. That's, how high is that? About 50 feet. Right, Jake, drop it. Right, yeah. Chuckle Brothers, sort it out, okay? Right, there's another level, yeah? Not on the rock face, not in the trees at the top, that yeah, massive pile of rock. That. Right, um, we're all ready, Kev, in your own time. We'll get the other one in the air. So, how many feet is that? That's right, 15. Go for it. Yep, where we go? <laughs> right, test it on the vertical as well. Spot on, spot on. All we did have happen there was one of the little bumps at the end had popped out. Yeah. But that goes straight back in. No damage. Perfect. No chips out of it. And that's seen some hard wear, that. Any work that I carry out with the spirit level has to be spot on. Ready? We're ready. Kev, over to you, please. Get the bird in the air. So we only want the best levels that keep the best trueness. It's no good replacing a level every couple of weeks. Uh, you get some of them that are quite weak, some that you've only got to knock off a wall or something like that. We want something that we can guarantee and rely on. I want to be proved right that this level is going to give me the, the true reading that I need in any way that I do. Big rock. 
Well done, chaps.